My name is Grady. I've been throwing shot put for about five years, and I'm here to teach you how to throw shot put. There's actually a lot to it, so let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. The first and probably most important thing is how you hold the ball. Your hands are meant to make a cup and the ball rests on the tip of your fingers. Once you have that remembered, you want to place it onto your neck somewhat firmly and you have to make sure not to take it off during your throw. That is a very bad idea. There are many different ways to throw shot put, but I personally use two ways of throwing. I prefer to throw from power when I'm warming up, but in competition I throw glides since that tends to give me better results. I will show power first. If you're right-handed, you just want to mirror exactly what I am doing when with your right hand. You want to place your right foot directly against the toe board and your left heel should be at the middle of your right foot. Then you bend at the hips and place most of your weight on your back leg. After you're ready to throw, you want to open your hips, bring your unoccupied arm out and quickly back in like an elbow motion. An old coach I had referred to it as slapping the giant, elbowing the midget, which kind of helps me remember it. While you're in that motion, you want to push the shot put ball with your throwing hand while still keeping it onto your neck, and you want to make sure that you always follow through your throw to maximize it. I suggest throwing power for those who are just beginning to throw. The glide is a little more complex, but it is bound to give you better results for competition. For the glide, you want to start at the back of the ring. I personally go back three steps from the toe board. Then you make sure that your strong leg is closer to the edge of the ring than your weak leg. Again, you want to bend at the waist, but at the same time you want to pick your back leg up and coil it in. Once you are ready, you want to kick that coiled leg out, but at the same time you're pushing that front leg. Now remember, you have to kick directly out and not up. If you kick up, you're going to be a lot slower and not have as much momentum you want and you won't throw as far. Once you learn how to start your throw and kick properly, you will end up in a position that is very similar to glide. When you are in that position, you want to make sure to not stop any of your momentum and throw it as if you were throwing from the power position.